What's up foodies? Thank you so much for all the love you guys give me. I really 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 appreciate that. Now for today's recipe as you guys requested we had a poll going and most of the votes went towards Karai Paneer. So without wasting any more of your time let's get you guys to making Karai Paneer. Alright guys so what I've done here is in a pan I've taken about uh, two spoons of um, mustard seed oil and two spoons of, uh, of regular uh, peanut oil. And now what we're going to do from here is we're going to go ahead and add some uh, finely chopped uh, garlic in there. With that I'm going to go ahead and add some finely chopped ginger. And we're going to go ahead and uh, add a little bit of dried red chili. So I've used two, uh, two dried red chili, uh, cut it in half. We're going to go ahead and saute this a little bit unless the rawness of the ginger garlic is gone. And then we're going to come back to the next steps. Alright guys, so once our ginger and garlic is cooked uh, cooked a little bit, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add uh, roughly chopped onions in there. And with roughly chopped onions, I'm also going to go ahead and add roughly chopped capsicums in there too. And then we're going to go ahead and let this cook. Uh, we're going to roughly cook that, I'm uh, not going to cook it completely. So we're going to go ahead and cook until the until the onions are pink and then we're going to be all done. Alright guys, so once our um, onions and capsicum are halfway cooked, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add some uh, roughly chopped tomatoes to it. Um, and what roughly chopped tomatoes, uh, what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and add our paneer to it too. Uh, we're going to shallow fry the paneer. If you wish to, you can go out and deep fry the paneer as well. Alright guys, so once our uh, paneer and uh, and rest of the vegetables are a little bit a uh, little bit fried, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and add just a little bit of masala to it. Now what we're doing is I'm gonna go ahead and use my all-purpose gravy that I made. Um, if you haven't got a chance to look at that video, look at the link in the description. You're gonna be able to get directly to my all-purpose gravy. Uh, but we're gonna go out and use the all-purpose gravy. Um, in making the karai paneer so we're just gonna add just a little bit of spices just the basic spices to get that karai taste to it so <clears throat> so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and add just a little bit of roasted dhania powder with the roasted dhania powder we're gonna go ahead and add a little bit of roasted jeera powder and to get the color of the uh, of the recipe, what we're gonna add is we're gonna add a little bit of Kashmiri chili powder. And once we add the spices, we're gonna go ahead and uh, give it a good mix. Let the spices cook for a few minutes. All right, guys. So once your spices are cooked, what we're gonna do is uh, I'm gonna go ahead and add my all-purpose gravy. And um, I'm not adding a lot of gravy just because karai paneer doesn't have a lot of lot of gravy and I don't want the taste to change. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and add a little bit of gravy to it and then we'll come back to the rest of the steps. Alright guys, so once the gravy is cooked a little bit, what we're going to do is we're going to add salt to taste. Now if you remember when we were making the, um, the all-purpose gravy, we had added a little bit of salt. So just add the salt to your taste just to compensate for paneer and then uh, the onion and uh, capsicum and tomatoes. Uh, don't add too much salt to it otherwise it would become salty. Now at this point we're going to go ahead and add a little bit of cream to it as well. Um, I am using fresh heavy cream. Um, you can use malai if you want to. You can use a little bit of milk if you want to. And with that we're going to go ahead and add a lot of... Um, a uh, lot of kasuri methi to bring uh, bring out that uh, that taste uh, the taste of kasuri methi in the karai paneer. All right, guys. So here we go. The karai paneer is all done. As you know, the food is ready. I'm not waiting on you. Keep liking, sharing, subscribing. I really appreciate all your love. Thank you so much. Food is ready. Not waiting on you. Until next time, I'll see you soon. Have a great day.